The Ag Economist Monthly Monitor surveys nearly 70 ag economists from across the country serving as a gauge of the farm economy. Well, this month, the survey found soybeans currently pencil better than corn, but as Farm Journal's Stein Morgan tells us, net farm income is expected to take a major hit in 2024. Ag Economist's views on the ag economy took a dive in the first Ag Economist's monthly monitor of 2024. We certainly saw the results in the January numbers suggesting a, a downturn, probably the largest downturn since we've started the survey. University of Missouri Ag Economist Scott Brown helps author the monthly monitor. And he says from December to the latest survey in January, projections for corn prices fell 25 cents per bushel. Just one sign that economists are growing more pessimistic at the start of the year. I don't want to make a trend out of just one survey, but if we continue down the path that we started with the January estimates, perhaps uh, we're, we're telling 2024 to be a less positive story than we would have just a few months ago. The average estimate for net farm income also took a turn, falling to $135 billion for 2024. You know, let's just remember that back in 2020, we would have talked about net farm income at about $95 billion. So this is still uh, much higher than where we would have been in that kind of 2016 through 2020 period. Economists were then asked to rank each commodity by financial strength, 10 being the strongest, one being the weakest. Scott Brown says it's no surprise cattle continues to top that list. And when you look at where we're at on prices, yes, we've lost in the last couple of months a, a a little bit of cattle price strength, but I think it's starting to turn back around and just how tight we are on the supply side. Soybeans rank second, followed by sorghum, corn, and wheat. But ag economist Bill Lapp says declining commodity prices for crops continues to be the headline. I think the January 12 reports uh, gave us maybe some cold truth that we weren't ready for. And he says as USDA prepares for its Ag Outlook Forum next month, USDA will provide the first snapshot of supply and demand projections for 2024 through 2025. And he thinks the theme of growing stocks will continue. And then the last time we saw this was the 2012 through 2015 period where we where we push prices sharply lower. As farmers weigh acreage decisions, ag economists were asked which commodity pencils better in 2024 corn or soybeans. Just under 60% said soybeans, while a little over 40% answered corn. Here in Missouri on our numbers, uh, we certainly are suggesting both crops, you know, fall in terms of profitability, corn even moving into the negative territory over total cost. With average production, with the prices that we're forecasting and the costs that I have penciled in for both corn and soybeans, uh, soybeans returns about a 40 to $50 per acre, you know, net return over corn.